Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a review on the 2016 Diamondback Atros Comp. Now I've had this bike for a little over a year, it's caused me no problems and it's just an awesome mountain bike in, in all areas I think. Um, so enjoy the video, stay tuned till the end and I'll see you in the next video. I almost destroyed my camera trying to get this shot, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, here on the Atros Comp, our rear shock is a RockShox Monarch Model R with 100 mils of travel. And it is an air shock. There's the thing to put in the air. And it's a great shock. Standard, but it's an awesome shock. So let's move up to the front fork. Okay guys, so our front fork here is a RockShox Recon with 120 mils of travel. It's a preloaded spring coil, so there is no air in the shock. It's not an air shock, unfortunately. But you do have the lockout here, so you can control how much compression. And, uh, yeah. Okay, guys, here our rear derailleur is a SRAM X7 10-speed. We have a 10-speed cassette. Now, I don't quite remember the amount of teeth it has ranging from the first spring, but... You can go on Dimeback's website and check that all out for further details. Now coming up here to our front um, chain ring, we have a race face crank again on the side. Same pedal, DB4L Dimeback platform pedal, top and bottom chain guide. And we have a race face chain ring right here. It's a 32 tooth, narrow wide. So, I've never slipped a chain on this, as you would think from the chain guide. But I'm going to do an experiment later on and take the chain guide off and see what happens. So, so I hope you all enjoyed this video of the 2016 Diamondback Atros Comp. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and smash that like button down below. I'll see you in the next video.